Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, the one and the only replay showcase in which you invest replays and we award you with golden styles. Now that's what I call stonks. So hit that like button, subscribe if you wish and ring the little bell to never miss a video. And let's get straight into it. Let us crack the ice here on Arctic region with Miku XD in the T69 medium tank. A true relic of the past, to which time hasn't been very kind. So I hope you lot will be a little bit kinder seeing this very yellowish ammo loadout, which Miku will certainly need in this particular match as a bottom tier tank. Oh, we are running away already. Ah, maybe because the enemy team has been given control over three quarters of the map in just two minutes. So the first bit of damage comes at the expense of this Leopard 1. As Miku now continues to push the tempo, making the most out of the quick firing four shot autoloader. Whoa, missed me! Yep, this tank wasn't made for sniping either, as just a single out of the three heat shells sliced through the T-30's armor. Instead, feeling much more at home at these close ranges. Being able to dish out 960 damage in a short space of time. Didn't expect to see me here, did ya? However, in the meantime, the final ally has been sent packing and Miku now carries the hopes and memes of the green team alone. Against four higher tier enemies and an eye from the sky. Make that three, the T-30 is clipped down without being able to get a clear shot. Same goes for this M4Y. The enemies are just underestimating Miku XD and the power of an autoloader. Hoo hoo hoo! And a cran bargain capping in the open, not hiding their hub. Miku is actually turning this game around. Leaving only the low HP Ak Panzer and an RT in the way of victory. Ooh, sneaky sneaky. And the wide flank worked beautifully. It is now just the arty left. It... Oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. Now that's cheeky. Going for that all important Fadden's medal, eh? Yeah, there's the arty. As oblivious as ever. One. And two. GG. A great game to open up the episode. Miku XD claims Fadins, Radley Walters, Nichols, and Kolobanov's medals as a complete underdog. While 4,971 damage is not the highest we've ever seen, 9 kills and 1,874 experience as a bottom tier make this a worthy feature on our show. Which means 2,000 gold and a best replay style are on their way to you, Miku XD. Well done! And in our runner-up spot, we've got another tortoise. You guys seem to really enjoy this tank as we get multiple really good replays in it each week. With this one sent in by FSAVIX, being no exception as they command the mighty turtle here on Serene Coast. Heading straight into the thick of the action to make the most of this fantastic 120mm gun. Capable of dealing over 4,000 damage per minute, it's the bane of any enemy tank caught in its crosshair. Yep, 
just like that. Two enemy heavies down and out. Also, here's an example of how to perfectly use terrain for cover. Hiding the cupola weak spot behind solid cover while angling the armor to make it almost impenetrable. While also moving just as the enemy is about to shoot to throw off their aim. It's those little tricks that add up as Savix is up to 4,800 damage and three kills while only taking a single damaging shot in return. Which makes it more impressive that the friendly team finds themselves five tanks and 5,000 HP behind on the scoreboard. That must be some new kind of a record. So the only option is to, well, do more damage. Hey, this area is off limits. Should have trained repairs on that crew. And maybe brought the proper fire extinguisher. Ooh, ooh this is getting intense. What a snap! Take that! Oh, as the pressure was finally easing off, the E75TS connects a shot, dropping Savix to just 100 HP. Why, you little... Finally, the annoying mosquito gets clapped and the allies now hold a 4 to 1 tank advantage. What a comeback! And what a team play from these final 4 remaining allies. Oh, make that 3 allies. If we learned anything, it's not to underestimate the final remaining tank on the team. That would be the 6th sense going off. They must be close. Whoa, here comes the YOLO! Oh, ho, 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 ho. That one caught me off guard, but in just 15 seconds, the game is won. In a straight-up DPM brawl, the odds were always stacked against the Waffentrager as Savix picks up the victory. Dealing an incredible 10,904 damage as a Tier 9 tank with 5 kills and 1,988 base experience. That is half of the entire enemy HP pool in HP dealt by just one player on the team. Wow! Naturally, for that performance, we award you Savix with 2,500 gold and our best replay style. Congratulations! And for the finale, we are switching to Tier 6 and one of the best Tier for Tier tanks in the game, the T-3485M. A fantastic all-around medium tank in the hands of Scotica 1991 who is not afraid to join this light tank melee on cliff. Picking up the first kill on this unfortunate VK, beached on the side of a cliff. Wait, beach? Cliff? How? Peekaboo! I see you! So far, Scotty has been firmly holding the front line. But the Purples have been relentless in exploiting their numerical advantage. So Scotty has to do something before the entire team gets outflanked. was indeed something. Three kills in three minutes means our T-34 has already earned themselves a top gun. But why stop there when there's this oblivious ARL destined to become the seventh kill?
However, chasing this Dickamax probably would not be a smart idea. Instead, it's back to defense. Because when the enemies are about to commit to a mistake, you welcome it with open arms. Still here? <laughs> Oh, what a play! Destroying two enemy tanks, meaning the tally now reads 11 kills. And with three more artillery pieces remaining, Scotty now has the chance to earn the extremely rare Resenius Heroes Medal for 14 kills in a single match. Hoo-hoo! That one nearly got away. Uh-oh, but this friendly Hellcat that camped at the back of the map for the entire game might put a dent in Scotty's ambitions. Oh, come on, dude! Well, at least this puts the game beyond any doubts. Yep, GG. That was indeed 13 kills in total. Lucky for some, unlucky for Scottica 1991, who just misses out on the Rosenius Heroes Medal thanks to the friendly Hellcat. Nonetheless, the stats still show 4,022 damage dealt along with 2,087 base experience, a result anyone should be proud of. Especially as we award this replay with 3,000 gold, our sexy style, and the title of Best Replay. Congratulations, Scotica 1991. And with that amazing game, we have reached the end of another episode. I think we had a little bit of everything in this one, from the underdog T69, through Tortoise with all the damage, and finally the unlucky 13 kill game. But which one has impressed you the most? Do let us know in the comments, we enjoyed reading and answering those. Or perhaps you've got a better replay? Well then, send it through the usual channels. Well, just for you lot who stuck through the entire outro, link them in the comments and we'll have a look. And what else is there left to say but, I'm Adam Snowgrove and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio! A great game to open up this episode. Blip, no.